In order to start working with Maglev Pro, we need to get ourselves familiar with the interface of the editor first. So let's go and dive into the editor right now to see what our panels and tabs do. So the first thing we see when opening the editor is the canvas. This represents the workspace where you can place and edit all types of content elements. It's a visual representation of the current scene you're working on. And via the button on the top left, we can add elements to fill the canvas with all possible types of content. From texts and shapes to images and videos, you can find it all here. And a Maglev page can be split into scenes to divide it into multiple segments, each with their own transitions and settings in order to display exactly what your viewer sees when they're scrolling through the page. So the safe zone marks the area of the page that will always remain visible, no matter the size of screen that's displaying it. So on smaller screens, the highlighted or red area here could be cut off. And in Magler Pro, you always start by designing your page for desktop or landscape view. And then you can rearrange all of your elements on the mobile or portrait version of your page to ensure an engaging content experience for all types of screens and devices. The timeline at the bottom here is used to apply timing on advanced animations to the elements on the canvas. You can drag the markers on the sides here to um, add a delay or to make your element disappear after a certain amount of time. You can use the general panel here to define the settings and dimensions of your scene and configure helpful grids and guidelines to help you align and position your elements. The media panel here shows all media that you uploaded to Magler for your current project, like images and videos and all other kinds of files that you would like to show to your viewers. You can open the media library for more structure, search for media online, or to view and reuse media from other projects. All layers in your scene are represented by a layer in the Layers panel. Here you can select them and group them together, or you can change their order and adjust their settings. Now let's dive into the Elements panel. And we're starting here with the Size and Positioning tab. Via this tab you can resize and position your elements, or you can also set its colors and other element-specific settings like changing the font or uploading an image. Let's select an element now. Through the animation tab, you can define the start, repeating, ending, and scrolling animation of the selected elements or even groups. And via the effects tab, you can apply effects and hover effects to the selected elements. And then the actions tab here allows you to make your element perform an action when the viewer either hovers or clicks it. And then last but not least, we have the Accessibility tab. Here you can structure and optimize your Magler page for viewers of all abilities according to the WCAG Accessibility Guidelines. So now that we're familiar with the interface of the editor, let's dive further into page types and the safe zone in the next course.